This uh, next young man is making his uh, very first appearance on uh, network television. As you said, the first appearance any place could be rather frightening. He's a comedian, and he's the winner of the Southern California Stand-Up Comedy Contest. And um, he won that using a routine that he developed working in street corners in Boston. And he's at the Comedy Store in San Diego next week, this week. He'll be at the Improvisation in Los Angeles next week, and he opens a new laugh stop in Palm Springs February the 15th. You seem in a good mood tonight, so would you wel welcome him, please? Sean Morris. Sean? Thank you very much. My name is Sean Morey. Let's hear a nice, hello, Sean. Hello, Sean. Okay, rowdy bunch. I've been living in Boston for quite a while. As it, as it happens, I'm originally from Atlantic City. I'm very proud of the Miss America pageant. As a boy, I was more proud of the little known fact that the game Monopoly is based on Atlantic City. This is true, I lived on Atlantic Avenue. Little green plastic house. <laughs> the street was yellow, you know. Strange traffic, a shoe would go by. An iron. <laughs> I was a thimble man myself. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 1980. Thank God the year of the child is over. <laughs> Made me nervous. <laughs> I'm trying to decide whether I ever want to have kids or not. It's a drastic decision. We have trial marriages now. Why not trial children? <laughs> when they're born, explain to them you just want to live together, no commitment, <laughs> see if it's going to work out first. I think I would make a good parent because I remember the terrible things parents do to their kids. My mother used to spit on a Kleenex and wipe off my face. <laughs> remember that? Some mothers spit directly in the face. <laughs> Real respect. You know? My brother and his wife are raising some kids, teaching them to be vegetarians. Now, this is fine. I like vegetarian food, but I think they should teach their kids to be tolerant of others. My nieces are being raised to believe anyone who eats meat is almost a cannibal. I don't get to visit that often. I don't think Uncle Edie, I mean, is a funny nickname. <laughs> My brother says to me things like, how can you support the slaughter of helpless animals? I said, helpless? Animals can run. Plants can't get away. <laughs> Broccoli. <laughs> Bean sprouts. We're just babies. <laughs> Rip out their ankles, bite their little heads right off. <laughs> Personally, I eat only vegetable substitutes. I make little soybeans out of mushed up hamburger. <laughs> Thank you. You know, of course, the big trend these days is to raise your children without such rigid sex roles. I like that expression, rigid sex roles. Sounds like something you buy in a kinky bakery. <laughs> sex roles, get them while they're rigid. <laughs> I'm into sexual liberation, as long as you remember that being a male has disadvantages also. Compare restrooms. You go to the restroom in a theater, you see two signs. One says, ladies lounge. You look in there, the ladies have this whole room they go in before they even go in the bathroom. <laughs> Plush couches in there, pool tables, hot tubs, miniature golf course, who knows what that is. You look over here, men's pit. <laughs> Walk through the door, you're out in the alley. <laughs> I know, of course, that everyone has disadvantages at different times in life. I think life's greatest unfairness is the way it ends. I mean, life is tough. It takes up a lot of your time, all your weekends. <laughs> what? what do you get at the end of it? A death. <laughs> Great reward. I think the life cycle is all backwards. You should die first. Get it out of the way. Then you live for 20 years in an old age home. You get kicked out when you're too young, you get a gold watch, you go to work. <laughs> there's more, there's more. 
You work for 40 years till you're young enough to enjoy your retirement. You go to college, you do drugs, alcohol, you party, you get ready for high school. You go to high school, you go to grade school, you become a kid, you play, you have no responsibilities, you become a little baby, you go back into the womb, you spend your last nine months floating. You finish off as a gleam in somebody's eye. I'd like to do for you now the Sean Maury political juggling routine. Jimmy Carter in the news as usual, still trying to reverse his image. <laughs> trying to be the tough guy. Boom, 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 boom. Is he really a tough guy or is he really a fake? <laughs> that is the question. Jimmy's been running us around for a couple of years now. What has he done with all those big plans? Dropped them. The Jimmy Carter Government Reorganization Juggle. Let me see, that's an idea. Uh, this, 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 this. Uh, we have the Jimmy Carter Tax Rebate Juggle. No, I take that back. The Burt Lance Overdraft. The China Friendship Juggle. T for two. <laughs> Taiwan. <laughs> we have the Walter Mondale Activities Juggle. <laughs> the Congressional Ethics Juggle. And of course, the Three Mile Island After Effects. <laughs> the Federal Aviation Juggle. <laughs> the VD Epidemic. And, of course, the Shah Juggle. They'll give them to us. We don't want them. Give them back. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. The final three tricks. The IRS Juggle. Give me that money. <laughs> the American Oil Companies. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. The OPEC Nations. Give me, 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 give me. in a row we've had two young comedians on here who just scored great his name is Sean Morey and he'll be back with us I hope and we'll be back with you as you can see in a moment